Here is everything you need to know about Minecraft's Ice and Fire mod. This mod features mythical creatures, crazy new bosses, and items that you can collect within Minecraft. The mod's main appeal is its addition of dragons into the game. Rather than just having the standalone ender dragon, we now have three different types of dragons. The fire, ice, and lightning dragons. Each of these with their unique abilities and features. Each of these dragons come in different life stages. Stages 1 to 3 dragons are typically found on the surface, while stage 4 to 5 dragons can be only found found in dragon caves and are much stronger foes. Only dragons in dragon caves can drop dragon eggs in order to get your very own pet dragon. Only female dragons drop these eggs therefore they are one of the rarest things in the mod. Naturally each dragon type drops their respective eggs. Each egg type has a different way of hatching. Fire eggs need to be lit on fire, ice eggs put into water and lightning eggs need to be put into the rain. Once eggs hatch these dragons are automatically tamed. You can make them grow with dragon meal which is easily crafted. As any dragon found on the surface they will grow into five stages you can ride the dragon or have it stay in a certain place also equip it with cool dragon armor for extra drip defeating each type of dragon is a feat but worth its reward typically fire dragons are easiest as you can just use fire resistance potions to tank their fire attack typically for the other two it is recommended to get a bit more stacked with for example dragon armor and tools which you can obtain by killing dragons speaking of dragons while traveling the world you may encounter skeletal dragon remains just right click on these to get dragon bones. The same can be done with recently killed dragons. Also a pro tip after killing a dragon, make sure to have an empty glass bottle if you need to obtain dragon blood for a very cool sword. This can be later used in the end game to make dragon steel armor. Moving aside from dragons, there are three cool mini bosses in the mod. The Gorgon, basically Medusa, Cyclops and Hydra. Each with their own abilities can prove difficult to defeat. Firstly the Cyclops, probably the easier of the two can be found in Cyclops coves, plains and savanna biomes. If you get close to the Cyclops, he will begin chasing you, that's why it's good to have a bow with you. If you shoot his only eye, you will make him blind, and this will basically nerf him so you can get closer to him. Your second option is to use sheep disguise armor and sneak around the cyclops. Other than that, he's pretty strong, so be careful. The cyclops drops the eye of cyclops, which is pretty OP, as if held in any hand, provides a weakness to debuff to nearby hostiles. It also drops its skull as a trophy. Gorgons can be found in coastal underground lairs and kill anything that looks at them. While lucky enough for you, you can craft yourself a blindfold and avoid this debuff. Buff. Unless you're an absolute giga chad and can look at the floor while attacking Gorgon, you're pretty much in the clear. It is also recommended to bring milk buckets to avoid poison damage, but if you have a good sword, you should be able to slaughter the Gorgon pretty quickly. Unfortunately, Gorgons only drop the Gorgon head, which pretty much just turns anything into stone apart from death worms since they've no eyes. Lastly, but most dangerous is the Hydra. It is a multi-headed serpent and oh boy, this one's a troublemaker. They spawn in Hydra lairs which are found exclusively in swamp biomes. You have to fight Hydras with fire, so it's recommended to have a flaming bow or flaming sword. This is due to the fact that if the Hydra is not on fire during combat, it will regrow heads and grow even more heads until it's basically impossible to defeat it. Unless you want to go god mode on the Hydra and slay it with fire dragon breath, Hydra drops fangs, heart, and its skull. The fangs can be used to craft Hydra arrows, which poisons and leeches lives from targets. The heart, on the other hand, when in the hotbar, it gives increasing regeneration based on how injured you are. In short, the lower your health, the faster you will regenerate HP. Other cool noteworthy things are you will find graveyards but don't break open the chest inside as you will get jump scared by ghosts and also try not to reside near graveyards during the night time as you may find some unfriendly ghosts chasing you. The oceans are filled with dangerous sea serpents therefore I don't recommend traveling the seas too early in the game. However these cool creatures can draw fangs and scales which can be used to craft tide guardian armor which gives you strength and water breathing buffs in the water. Beware of sirens close to coastal lairs you will find them singing which may magnet you towards them and reveal their true nature which in most cases leads to a painful death. I said carry some earplugs if you know you will encounter them. While traveling sandy biomes be aware of death worms as they can prove to be a bit of a problem early game, but you can however obtain their eggs and tame yourself a mini death worm. It's worth knowing that early game you can get a flying mound if you simply tame a hippogriff. You can do so by dropping 8 rabbit feet near it. It will eat them and allow itself to be tamed. Once tamed they can carry chests and be armored up which can prove to be pretty useful before obtaining a dragon or an elytra. Pixies can be found in pixie villages which appear in the dark forest biome. Craft yourself a pixie jar or a few and capture them as they can give you buffs depending on their color. Befriend them with a cake and they will give you passive effects such as strength, jump boost, speed, luck and haste. There are many other things to find and do within the mod but out of all of them these are some of the noteworthy ones you need to get started. If you have any other tips make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and good luck on your adventures.